yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the first time I'm ever doing one of these, you know, posting something to the old internet, so bear with me. Okay. Right. Hi, I'm Jenny and welcome to my own private hell. <laughs> uh, the time is 2.37am or nearly 20 to 3 in the morning if you prefer and I've hardly had a wink of sleep all night. In fact, I've hardly had a wink of sleep for the last three nights and the reason why I'm suffering all this sleep deprivation, you might well ask, well, it's Max. Now, just to clear things up, Max is not some six foot two hunk of a fireman with the body of a Greek god. Ugh, if only. No, Max is a dog. You know, cold, wet nose, waggy tail, barks a lot. Well, this one does. And what makes Flatters worse, he's not even my dog. No, he belongs to my boss and I'm just the idiot who agreed to look after him whilst Hillary jetted off to the Algarve for ten whole days. Okay, why not put him in boarding kennels, I hear you ask. After all, that would be the sensible thing to do. Well, it appears that poor little Max gets a little bit stressed if he has to spend the night in a strange environment, like somewhere like kennels. And then the thought of this was then stressing out Hillary, which is when I decided to step in and volunteer to look after him. I only did it to gain some brownie points with Hillary, so I suppose in a way it's my own fault. Anyway, we agreed that he'd spend the nights with me, I would drop him off at doggy daycare during the day, and then pick him up after work. Of course, had I known then what a nightmare he was going to be, I would never have agreed to it. Hmm. You know, I was told that once I'd put him to bed with his biscuit, I wouldn't hear a peep out of him till morning. <laughs> Hillary lied to me. Yeah. Do you know, I had an inkling that all was not going to be plain sailing the moment Max arrived and proceeded to drag his ass across my best carpet. Anyway, I am digressing. I'm getting back to our first night together. No sooner had I put him to bed and I was cleaning my teeth than he started barking. And boy, can this dog bark. I mean, I was sure he was going to wake the neighbours, which... Trust me, we don't want that. So I rushed downstairs, gave him a reassuring pat on the head and another biscuit, and then proceeded to head back up to bed. But no sooner had I left him than he started scratching the kitchen door, whimpering and barking at the same time. So I proceeded to try and get him to settle and spent the best part of an hour trying to get the little sod to settle, which of course he didn't do, and eventually I gave in and moved him upstairs to my bedroom, something I swore I would never do. With Max and his basket safely installed in the corner of my room, I climbed back into bed, but no sooner had I turned out the light than the doodle decided to join me. And despite my protests and the countless times that I plonked him back in his own bed, he was determined to share mine. So eventually I gave in to the inevitable just to hopefully get some sleep. In no time, Max was blissfully sleeping, snoring and breaking wind with annoying regularity. The flatulence was truly terrible. I mean, I don't know what tear gas is like, but trust me when I say that Max could clear a crowd in 30 seconds flat. <sighs> which is why I've spent the last three nights on the sofa, which isn't that comfortable. But trust me, it is a vast improvement on the chemical warfare which is currently going on in my bedroom. Oh, I just hope all this effort's worth it and Hillary at least gives me a pay rise at the end of all of this. Hmm. Right, anyway, I am going to try and get some sleep. So, this is Jenny Gallagher.
signing off and saying bye-bye. Wish me luck. Mm -hmm.